petitioner or his representative or any other person desiring to be heard in this matter should appear in time and place designated. Chairman Epo Chairman, it was in Gate House Media on March 2nd and March 8th, 2023. Okay. Um, um, Ms. Swan, back um, to Swan. With, um, I'll make a motion oh. that we uh, waive the rating of the abutters and take the questions to um, take the answers to question eight as written. All in, Second. Right. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Gary. Aye. Yeah. Aye. Okay. And I, aye. Okay. Uh, Mr. Longworth, would you like to explain what you want to do? Sure. Um, hi, everybody. Thank you for their time and attention tonight. So I live at 139 Woodpecker Road. I've been here about three and a half years. And um, my mother lives in Randolph, and she is starting to get symptoms of Alzheimer's. And so I need to start taking care of her. Um, to do that, I need a little bit more space in my home. And so I'd like to change, as, as they mentioned, I'd like to change the existing two-car garage into an in-law. And then I would like to, to build a new two-car garage attached so that we could house our vehicles. Um, the challenge that we're finding is a little bit about um, my address, actually. So the house faces Smith Avenue. The driveway and the mailbox are all on Smith Avenue. Um, but my address is actually Woodpecker. So if you look at the front of my house to the right-hand side, um, is considered my back, um, which is where I want to put the garage. And then if it's my back, I need 50 feet of frontage. But if it's sort of my side, I only need 20. And I'll have more than that um, with the two-car garage. So I'm asking for a variance to basically allow me to put that garage. I don't know the technicality of basically seeing it as a side, um, but that's what I'm, I'm asking to do. And I would um, appreciate your support. OK. Uh, questions, um, Dan. I don't have any questions. It seems pretty straightforward, uh, Chair. Okay, uh, Gary. Um, Chair, I'm Jack's here. Jack, what what's what's the issue here? Oh. You got to turn your mic on. All right, there you go. Yeah. Um, let me uh, let me get situated here. I know that that um, she wanted to have a um, an in-law apartment and a, a temporary additional living space for her mother, um, which was going to be the existing garage. And in order to put a um, second garage on, um, her 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 address is not smith ave it's woodpecker so so woodpecker is her front and over where the garage is is her rear as opposed to the opposite of what you would when you're looking at the plan you would think okay smith ave is her frontage her rear and the back out there is um 272 it's it's the opposite of that so her backyard is actually a, a, a side setback. That makes sense. Confusing. <laughs> yeah. um, so, so basically, uh, her side yard, which is Woodpecker, is her frontage, along with Smith Ave. That is also her frontage. Her rear is the one that's over by, um, on the far end, where it says one seventy seven Smith Ave the next door neighbor that's that's her rear which she's showing 23 foot four for the garage do you understand yep yeah okay so that that's the rear that's her 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 side setback is fine it's the rear setback which is the corner of the garage where she needs the relief and how much relief are we talking well it's it's i'm because of the way it's situated it, it instead of i think it's 40 um she's looking for a 23 foot four so it's it's substantial 
Yeah. So no, Rear is fifty. So she's 50. at twenty-seven. Twenty-seven feet. 27. Or twenty-six point six. No, we'll go with twenty-seven feet. I like one okay. of the other. Okay. Um. The uh, how big is this garage? Uh, twenty-four feet wide and twenty-two feet deep, which is the same size as the existing garage that's, in its current normal. location. That that's a normal size garage. Mm -hmm. um, um, I don't I don't have any more questions. Okay, uh, Emil. Turn your mic on, Emil. No questions. Okay. Jeff? Um, I, I have a question. Or I guess I'm looking at the maps. I'm getting a little confused because I said there are certain properties that are highlighted. So I'm getting confused about that. But you're 139. That's right. I'm right on the corner of Woodpecker and uh, Smith Avenue. Okay. And the house is like a little sort of on a diagonal. But the uh, driveway's on Smith Avenue. Yeah, the two the, the two maps plot, plot plans are on the outside of her property. Right, right. Um, Maybe this is a, a question for, for for Jack or John. Um, what determines an address for a property? Good question. Um, the post office mostly. So I mean, we I, we've had a lot of discussions on this myself and Julia. And if her address were Smith Ave, which is how it looks, she wouldn't need anything from anybody. She could do this by right. Um, but because her address is Woodpecker, she needs to. She needs it, right? And we don't, and and to your knowledge, we don't we don't have any rules that that stipulate what constitutes what street a a, a corner lot is on. It it it's really it's it's up to the commissioner to make that decision. I'm, and I'm 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 sure whenever this was done 20, 30 years ago, um, I don't know how they came up with that decision, but. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if, if I convinced Julie to, to change her address to, to um, Smith, she wouldn't have to be here. But that's there's a lot when you change your address. Now you're changing everything. So. Right. Okay. I, I think I get it. I think I'm good. No more questions for me. All right. Um. I have one question. Uh, how far away from the well does she have to be? Um, I'm not sure, but I can ask Larry. But the way it is right there, I don't think it's an issue. I want to say it's um, it's usually like 10 feet. Oh, 10 feet. Okay. Yeah. The, 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 the biggest thing with, with wells is it, the wells have to be certain feet away from um, some septic systems. Not so yeah. much how yeah, to a structure. Yeah. Okay. Um, so obviously, you're going to bring water and in, in storage into the um, existing uh, garage? Yeah. Yes, that's the intent. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no water in the new garage, right? No. That's all my questions. Um, is there anybody in that's on that has questions? I don't know if there's anybody else on. It doesn't look like uh, it. Hearing none. Uh, what's the wish of the board? Um. I'll make a motion that we grant a variance of 27 feet in the uh, 
it's the the side yard setback, right, Jack? It's the rear yard setback, Gary. Oh, the um, twenty seven feet in the rear yard setback for uh, case number forty two ninety five, and um, grant the variance. Second. All in favor. Uh, Aye. Well, Gary, Gary's definitely Dan. Aye. Uh, Emil. Aye. Jeff. Aye. And I'm um, I. Okay. Um, uh, Miss, uh, this one, we're, what we'll do is we'll, we'll draft make decision. It, We'll draft a decision probably for the next meeting, and uh, we'll vote on it at that point. Well, we voted on it, but we'll sign it, and uh, then they have a 21-day uh, appeal from many neighbors. Okay. But, uh, and you can talk with uh, Mr. Erickson, and he can tell you what you can do and what you can't do from now on. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all your attention on the matter and it's a, a great help. So thank you very much. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Good evening. Thanks. Bye. 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 Jack. Yep. Did we get any information from the Red Cross? Nope. No, I haven't heard from them. Marguerite asked me that yesterday. Mm. So she... So. She basically wanted you guys to, you know, continue it. She wants us to continue, continue it? it? Well, she feels like, I mean, that's what she said. If it goes to the next meeting um, and we have nothing. Um, that, that I'm fine with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Wait a minute. I'm gonna, okay. Motion to open case. Uh, body two, two, and I know I love the agenda. <laughs> body, but, but is it body two what? Ninety two. Body two, two, and we might as well do both of them at once. Body two ninety three. Okay. Motion to open uh, cases and up. Oh, here we go. I, I just. Are you looking really for a second? Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, motion to open cases number 4293 and 4294. No, 4292 and 4292. 4292 and 49. <laughs> it's not listed on the um, agenda, but not on my agenda. Yeah, it's okay. 4292 and 4293. When's our next meeting? Next meeting is April 6th. There's already one case on for 730. Okay, shouldn't that mo motion to um, <laughs> continue? Continue cases number forty-two ninety-two and forty-two ninety-three to April sixth at seven thirty-two p.m. Second. All in favor? Um, Aye. Aye. Gary. Aye. Dan. Aye. Neil. Aye. Jeff. Aye. And Sherm. Aye. Okay. Takes care of that. Now we have motion to open case number 4287. Second. Oh. All in favor. Aye. Um, Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, oh, no, we have four. Emil, you're sitting on this case, right? 4287? I don't remember. Uh, wait a minute. He's yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's alternate. Yeah, 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 you're on here. So, so Shim, this is one that you're not on. Um, so um, somebody want to make a motion to accept the decision as written in case number 4287? I'll make a motion we accept the decision 4287. Is there a second? Second by me. Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. Dan, Jeff? Aye. Emil? Aye. Aye. And me? Aye. 
Um, I also need a motion to have me sign the decision um, for the board. Second. No, no you got to make the I'll, motion. I'll make that motion so moved. And uh, Dan, you want to second that? Dan, you want second. to second that? Okay. Yep. All in favor? Dan? Aye. Jeff? Aye. Emil? Aye. And me, aye. Okay, sure. Back to you. Okay. Well, uh, actually, we have another decision. Motion to kick open case number 4294. All in favor? Aye. 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 Emil? Aye. Sure. Motion. Okay. Oh, Gary. Motion. <laughs> okay. Aye. Okay. okay. Motion to accept the decision as written in case number 4294. Second. Second. Okay. Second. Uh, uh, Gary. Aye. And Neil. Aye. Jeff. Aye. And sure am I. Yeah, right. What's that, uh, minutes? minutes? I'd rather wait for Marguerite to do the minutes. Uh, Gary, don't we need to make a motion for Sherm to sign this decision? On oh, yeah, the yeah. Board? We need, um, oh, yeah. need to make a motion for Sherm to sign the decision. Make a motion to have Sherm to sign this decision for the board in case number 4294. I'll second that. Uh, all in favor? Dan? Aye. Aye. Gary? Aye. Jeff? Aye. Emil? Aye. Firm, uh, aye. Okay. Um, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn, I guess. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Second. Aye. 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 Okay. Thanks. Thank so you. You're in the next. We should be in person then. <laughs>